Ellen Lee DeGeneres is an American comedian, television host, actress, writer, and producer. She starred in the sitcom Ellen from 1994 to 1998 and has hosted her syndicated television talk show, The Ellen DeGeneres Show, since 2003. Ellen DeGeneres was born and raised in Metairie, Louisiana, to Elizabeth Jane, Mae Pfeffer, a speech therapist, and Elliot Everett DeGeneres, an insurance agent. She has one brother, Vance, a musician and producer. Of French, English, German, and Irish descent, she was raised a Christian scientist. Her parents filed for separation in 1973 and were divorced the following year. Shortly after, Ellen's mother married Roy Grusendorf, a salesman. Betty Jane and Ellen moved with Grusendorf from the New Orleans area to Atlanta, Texas. Vance stayed with his father. When she was 15 or 16 years old, she was molested by her stepfather. DeGeneres graduated from Atlanta High School in May 1976, after completing her first years of high school at Grace King High School in Metairie. She moved back to New Orleans to attend the University of New Orleans, where she majored in communication studies. After one semester, she left school to do clerical work in a law firm with a cousin, Laura Gillen. Her early jobs included a stint at J.C. Penney and waitressing at TGI Fridays and another restaurant. She also worked as a house painter, a hostess and a bartender. Ellen started performing stand-up comedy at small clubs and coffeehouses. By 1981, she was the MC at Clyde's Comedy Club in New Orleans. DeGeneres cites Woody Allen and Steve Martin as her main influences at this time. In the early 1980s she began to tour nationally, and in 1984 she was named Showtime's Funniest Person in America. After a 15-year hiatus from performing stand-up comedy, DeGeneres appeared in a 2018 Netflix stand-up special, Relatable. Ellen DeGeneres lists Lucille Ball, Carol Burnett and Bob Newhart among her comedic influences. Ellen's work in the late 1980s and early 1990s included the film Coneheads. She starred in a series of films for a show named Ellen's Energy Adventure, which was part of the universe of energy attraction and pavilion at Walt Disney World's Epcot. The film also featured Bill Nye, Alex Trebek, Michael Richards, and Jamie Lee Curtis. The show revolved around DeGeneres falling asleep and finding herself in an energy-themed version of Jeopardy, playing against an old rival, portrayed by Curtis and Albert Einstein. The next film had DeGeneres co-hosting an educational look at energy with Nye. The ride first opened on September 15, 1996, as Ellen's Energy Crisis, but was quickly given the more positive-sounding name Ellen's Energy Adventure. The ride closed permanently on August 13, 2017. DeGeneres' first regular TV role was in a short-lived Fox sitcom called Open House. She played the role of Margot Van Meter, an office worker at the Juan Verde Real Estate Company. The show co-starred Alison LaPlaca and Mary Page Keller. In 1992, producers Neil Marlins and Carol Black cast DeGeneres in their sitcom Lori Hill, in the role of nurse Nancy McIntyre. The series was cancelled after only four episodes, but Marlins and Black were so impressed with DeGeneres' performance that they soon cast her in their next ABC pilot, These Friends of Mine, which they co-created with David S. Rosenthal. DeGeneres' comedy career became the basis of the sitcom Ellen, named These Friends of Mine during its first season. The ABC show was popular in its first few seasons due in part to DeGeneres' style of observational humor, it was often referred to as a female Seinfeld. Ellen reached its height of popularity in April 1997, when DeGeneres came out as a lesbian on The Oprah Winfrey Show. Her character on the sitcom also came out of the closet to her therapist, played by Oprah Winfrey. The coming out episode, titled, The Puppy Episode, was one of the highest rated episodes of the show. The series returned for a fifth season that experienced falling ratings and was cancelled. DeGeneres returned to television in 2001 with a new CBS sitcom, The Ellen Show, which was cancelled after 13 episodes. In 1997, DeGeneres came out as a lesbian. The disclosure of her sexual orientation sparked intense interest by American tabloids. The contentiousness of the media coverage stunted her professional career and left her mired in depression. In her book Love, Ellen, DeGeneres' mother Betty describes being initially shocked when DeGeneres came out, but she has since become one of her strongest supporters. She is also an active member of PFLAG and spokesperson for the Human Rights Campaign's Coming Out Project. The same year she came out, 
DeGeneres started a romantic relationship with actress Anne Hesch that lasted until August 2000. From 2000 to 2004, DeGeneres maintained a close affair with photographer Alexandra Hedison. The couple appeared on the cover of The Advocate after their separation had already been announced to the media. Since 2004, DeGeneres has had a relationship with Portia de Rossi. After the overturn of the same-sex marriage ban in California, DeGeneres and de Rossi were engaged, and married in August 2008, at their home in Beverly Hills, California, where they live with their four dogs and three cats. The passage of Proposition 8 cast doubt on the legal status of their marriage, but a subsequent California Supreme Court judgment validated it because it occurred before November 4, 2008. On August 6, 2010, de Rossi filed a petition to legally change her name to Portia Lee James DeGeneres. The petition was granted on September 23, 2010. In 2015, she was named the 50th most powerful woman in the world by Forbes and came second on the World Pride Power List. Last June 2020, famous television personality and talk show host was ranked number 12 on Forbes's highest paid celebrities list for 2020. DeGeneres is a fan of the NFL but does not follow one team, she has shown support for the New Orleans Saints and the Green Bay Packers, and attended a 2011 Saints practice session dressed as Packers Hall of Famer Don Hudson. That's all for today. If you liked the video, like it, subscribe and press the bell to be the first to know about the new video.